The American people want less partisanship in this town, but everyone in this chamber knows that if the majority chooses to end the filibuster, if they choose to change the rules and put an end to democratic debate, then the fighting and the bitterness and the gridlock will only get worse. And if all this takes eliminating the filibuster, another Jim Crow relic, in order to secure the God-given rights of every American, then that's what we should do. What they don't expect is for one party, be it Republican or Democrat, to change the rules in the middle of the game so that they can make all the decisions while the other party is told to sit down and keep quiet. The Senate, we have to get rid of what's called the filibuster rule. We have to. And if we don't, the Republicans will never get anything passed. You're wasting your time. And Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has ruled out changing Senate rules for legislation. Uh, there's not a single senator in the majority who thinks we ought to change the legislative filibuster, not once. Fracturing the legislative filibuster changes the Senate institutionally forever. This is no small matter. I, as you recall, uh, said no to President Trump on numerous occasions uh, to his suggestion that the Republican majority in the Senate do the same thing. They continue to wave this threat over the minority, and our anticipation is that this is designed to ratchet up the pressure on Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema, who made it clear that they think the way the Senate functions uh, should not be changed. When they talk about whether it be packing the courts or ending the filibuster, I will not vote to do that. I will not vote to pack the courts, I think, and I will not vote to end the filibuster. Brett, this system, the Senate was so unique body in the world, it was made to work together in a bipartisan way. And once you start breaking down those barriers, then you lose every every reason that we are the institution that we are the most deliberate body we have some democrats who seem to sort of relish the old jim crow days the way the senate used to operate i'm thinking uh of people like joe manchin who is clinging to the filibuster like a binky and saying he'll never let it go no matter what he will allow some change of the filibuster he'll get all the attention he'll be rallied around like a hero and then he'll be absolutely irrelevant and that's what he also realizes the moment that he allows any change in the filibuster his power is weakened 